Welcome back to 13 Sunrise. Emily Klein is back with us sharing another scrumptious recipe. This one, you're speaking my language, and it's already posted on your Instagram page, it Klein is. Eats. I mean, who doesn't love pizza? Exactly, what are we making? <laughs> so today we're gonna be making a buffalo chicken flatbread. This feels like something that you would get at a restaurant, but you can easily prepare and make at home with simple few ingredients. Yeah, and I think that's the name of the game as we start this uh, new year. And yeah. maybe save a little bit of money too. Exactly, so first off, we're gonna start with a non bread. You can use flatbread, but I love non. I got mine from Aldi. It's so flavorful and delicious. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. That's it. So we'll start that you're off. really saving too. Ready yes. To go. So then we're gonna use a buffalo sauce. I just got mine from Kroger. We're gonna pour that on. So be a little careful. There we go. And then I just grabbed this brush. Would you like to do the honors sure. and just brush it all over? Really get it you know, nice. That comes out fast, it does. You, you gotta really be a little careful. It'll go a long way, but yeah. you gotta make sure you put enough on right. it. Perfect, all right. Amazing. Perfect. And then we're gonna grab some mozzarella cheese, another Kroger favorite. And I, something you'll notice about this recipe, I don't put any measurements. I just kind of measure with my soul, and I think that's appropriate. <laughs> yeah. So, especially with cheese. So we'll add some mozzarella here. Some mozzarella. Mozzarella. Love that. So really just be as generous or as light as you really want to be with it. Then we'll add some red onion. Yes. Delicious. Again, add as much or as little as you want. That's my favorite thing about this recipe. Chicken. So I shredded my chicken after I baked it in my oven. Yep. So we'll put a little bit on here, just kind of throughout. And then we're gonna put in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This is gonna be our final product. So as you can see, we added a little green onion, add some blue cheese if you'd like as well, add some more sauce, so ranch, a little buffalo, and you're ready to go. Super simple, super quick, and just overall delicious. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Emily. And we'll have this recipe on our website, wthr.com.